hello hello friends welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel and if you are new here kindly subscribe to join this family in this tutorial we are going to learn how to crochet this sunburst cranny square i decided to use this for colors you can use the colors of your choice you can use either four colors or make the whole circle with one color then make this square using one color so to begin make a magic ring this is how i make a magic ring i rub this yarn and hold it here pick the yarn from below remove one finger hold tightly here to remove the other finger hold tightly below this hook to chain one so that to secure this loop and that is how I make a magic loop chain three after chaining three this will serve as our first double crochet so into this magic ring make 15 double crochets I have made one double crochet plus the chain three those are two make the third double crochet this is how to make a double crochet yarn over make the fourth double crochet and you are going to continue that way until you have 16 double crochets in the magic ring so I'm done making the 16 double crochets that is the chain 3 plus 15 others those are 16 then pull this loose end of this yarn to close the magic ring then to finish this row 1 you are going to slip stitch at the top of the chain 3 that you made when we were beginning this row 1 you slip stitch this way then chain one and cut because you are going to use a different color in the next row so row one is done you can weave in the loose ends then go through any stitch and attach this other yarn you hook it and pull through the stitch then tie once to secure the yarn go through the same stitch you attached this yarn pull a loop then chain three one two and three after chaining three yarn over go through the same stitch and go along with this loose yarn draw up a loop and pull it to the height of the chain three yarn over go the second time draw up a loop yarn over go through the same stitch the third time and draw up a loop yarn over draw through all the loops chain one to finish this buff stitch yarn over go to the next stitch draw up a loop yarn over go back the second time draw up a loop yarn over go there the third time draw up a loop then yarn over and draw through all the loops chain one to complete the puff stitch then yarn over go to the next one draw up a loop yarn over go through the same stitch the second time draw up a loop yarn over go through the same stitch the third time draw up a loop and draw through all the loops you have on your hook chain one to finish this puff stitch and repeat that into every stitch until the end at the end here after making this puff stitch i'll chain one 
and slip stitch at the top of chain 3 that I made when beginning this row, chain 1 and cut. So row 2 is complete. And this is how it looks like. Row 3, I'm going to use this yellow color. So attach your yarn into any chain space, the chain space between the puffs, the puff stitches. Then I will tie it once this way to secure this yarn. Then we are going to go along with these loose yarns. So go through here, pull a loop, then chain three, one, two, three. After chaining three, yarn over, go through the same stitch, draw up a loop, you'll have three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, go back, draw up a loop, you'll have four loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, leave the rest, yarn over, go through the same stitch, draw up a loop, then you have five, pull through two, you have four remaining, Yarn over, go through the same stitch, draw up a loop, then yarn over, pull through two, you'll have five remaining, yarn over, pull through all the five. Chain two, go to the next chain space after the puff, and repeat the same, you go four times. You go through once this way. Pull through two, yarn over and go back the second time, draw up a loop and draw through two only, yarn over, go through the third time, draw up a loop and pull through two only, yarn over, go back the fourth time, draw up a loop and pull through two only, you'll be having five remaining, yarn over, pull through all the five chain two so instead of counting how many you are remaining with you just go through the next chain space four times drawing up loops and pulling through two only so that when you have five you'll be knowing that you have drawn loops four times after those five you draw through all the five and chain two, then continue into each chain space until the end. At the end here, after drawing through the five loops, I will chain two and slip stitch at the top of the chain three that I made when I was beginning this row. After slip stitching, I'll chain one and cut so we are done making this circular part. The next row, we are going to make the square part to finish. So attach the yarn into the chain, any chain space. Tie it once to secure it. Go through, draw up a loop and chain four. One, two, three and four. This will serve as our first triple crochet to make the second triple crochet yarn over twice go through the same chain space draw up a loop you'll be having four loops on your hook yarn over pull through two you'll have three remaining yarn over pull through two you'll have two remaining yarn over pull through the two yarn over twice to make another triple crochet you draw up a loop when you have four loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two. You have three remaining, yarn over, pull through two. You'll have two remaining, yarn over, pull through the two. So we have made three triple crochets and this will be our first corner. So chain three and make other three triple crochets in the same chain space, the same way we made these triple crochets this way. So we have three triple crochets chain three three triple crochets in the same chain space the next chain space you make three double crochets to make a double crochet you go through 
draw up a loop when you have three loops on your hook yarn over pull through two you have two remaining yarn over pull through the two make the second double crochet the same way and make the third double crochet the same way the next will be half double crochets so yarn over pull through the chain space draw up a loop when you have three pull through all the three that is how to make half double crochet make the second one this way and the third half double crochet that way the next one will be three double crochets in the same chain space this is two and the third double crochet in the same chain space after that the next one will be a corner you do the same way we did at the other corner you make three triple crochets chain three three triple crochets in the same chain space next is double crochets half double double crochets and the corner you do the same way we did there then you make double crochets half double crochets double crochets at the corner you repeat what we did then double crochets half double crochets double crochets then i will meet you so i have finished with three double crochets each corner has three triple crochets chain three three triple crochets the chain three is at the corners only then after the corner we have three double crochets the next is three half double crochets then three double crochets and you may have realized that each corner there is three double crochets before and after then the middle one is half double crochet each corner there are three double crochets before and after then the next is three half double crochets now that i'm done making this row i'm going to slip stitch at the top of this chain four that i made when i was beginning this row then chain one to finish then cut this one and that is the end you weave in your loose ends and that is the end of this tutorial thank you for watching i hope it was helpful if it was kindly subscribe like comment share then i will see you in the next tutorial